and gigs, we keep it real, no doubt. From the couch to your screen with a word of mouth, anime, movies, TV, we got the scoop. Join the review crew, come and be part of the loop. Welcome to tacosandgeeks.com. Justin and Sean here, back with a new show to review, Batman the Cape Crusader. This is now on Prime, Amazon Prime, Prime Video, and thank you to Prime Video for the screener. We did see all 10 episodes, but we're going to review episode one for you, which is entitled In Treacherous Waters. As always, we give you a brief synopsis. Without further ado, here we go. A series of explosions rock Gotham. Batman finds himself in the middle of a turf war between rival bosses Rupert Thorne and the Penguin. Meanwhile, Commissioner Gordon and his daughter Barbara look for ways to fix Gotham's corrupt criminal justice system from the inside. This is a spiritual successor, I would say, in the terms of just art style and storytelling to Batman, the original series, the original animated series, which was also produced and overseen by the one legendary Bruce Timm, who has his hands all over this particular series. And for the most part, episode one, I did enjoy it. I really did like this. This really brings you back. And I think Sean, me and Sean were talking before we start recording. This is like if Batman, the animated series, was rated R. Because it has a much, much more darker tone. This is a much more darker Bruce Wayne. And I, what I really like about this particular series is that kind of 1940s original Batman appearance aesthetics it is definitely taking place in that type time period you got the tommy guns from the cars it's very influenced by that 1940s noir style and it actually does work there are things in here when it comes to switching things out of lore that you're gonna uh that you're gonna experience especially with episode one as as it was recently announced the penguin is now female so there's they're doing a little mix and match and giving you a little more elsewhere feel to it and I know some people are going to be a little bit upset about the lore changes, but I will have to say, if you stick to the script of the story, it's really, really good. I really did enjoy what they did here, especially the way Batman is depicted. This is an angry Batman, a Batman yet not seasoned. He is, I want to technically call him arrogant, but he is very cold even towards Alfred. But I'm not going to spoil certain relationship dynamics, but this is a very cold Batman. Sean, what are, what are your thoughts? Well, this this con- this series kind of takes it back to, like we discussed before, this is like Batman TES, but the rated R version. You, do, you don't see, like, blood, but you see they don't hide, like, someone getting shot. They don't hide killings. They show you the aftermath of someone being done in dirty. And this also reminds me of like the first, like anybody who's a true comic book fan, the first like Batman um, comic book covers where it's the exact suit from that era. But you know, the only difference is he's not swinging around Gotham city with a shotgun under his cape, which would, if they did pay homage to that. And you know, I have a few episodes to catch up on if they did pay homage to that, like just to have him swinging around Gotham with the cape, but it is the same tone of it. You know, the, anybody who knows that the original Batman was not as, no, I don't use guns and I'm not opposed to hurting someone or, you know, like committing murder or running them over. (laughs) Yeah. You know, (laughs) like he was, he was just pretty much like, I'm a vigilante. I'm out here to get justice. And that's it. They do keep it with, the same tone of the original animated series where he still is a detective. He still lurks in the shadows. He's still looking for clues to find out who's uh, behind a lot of the crimes and, and a lot of the conspiracies that are out there. So you will get that. It also is a sense of he's young in this. He's laid back. You'll see with interactions that he has with Harvey Dent because even Harvey Dent in this isn't, a seasoned prosecutor. Harvey Dent is very arrogant himself. So you understand the relationship and the friendship between him and Bruce. Um, The the Penguin, the gender swap is not bad. It it reminds me of like a 1940s, 50s, Mom Abel. Um, The Penguin is very uh, conniving, uh, menacing. Uh, 
unlike the penguin that we're used to, we know uh, Oswald Cobblepot was very dangerous, but we kind of like his reputation was already there. So he didn't have to do much. This one, she kind of has to show people like, yo, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'll F you up <laughs> if you, you know, you play with me. And cold hearted and everything you can think of that you would look at the penguin and say, yo, this penguin is, is that's, this is a villain. This is not like a, you know, a Batman 1966 or, you know, even the animated series. This is a villain, ladies and gentlemen, like this, this woman gets down for, for her, what she wants. And she wants to be queen and there's not going to be any stopping her. Has no problem offing anybody, including, as you'll see in the first episode, she takes drastic measures to keep the police out of her oh, yeah. business, you know? So, and like has no problem offing anybody, including family. Like this, this, this is a good, like the, the gender, the gender switch is, not a bad thing. I know some people, oh, there was a, this is actually one where I will say um, they did an excellent job with the tone of this penguin. Um, so you won't even, you know, after a while, after watching it, you won't even realize that they switched tone other than this is a, you can tell by a uh, certain scenes in it. This is a female version and she, She's just going crazy, doing whatever. But she's out there proving her point. Like, you know, there's a point where I guess they think, as a woman, she won't be able to handle being a crime boss. And she's showing them, like, yo, listen, I'll take over this town. You're just, you just better be lucky I'm not coming after you. Really good. I think this is a really good uh, start to this animated series. It takes me back to Batman the Animated Series. It's just a little more raunchy. So the young child in me, the teenage kid in me that watched it, got to see TES. This one, the adult in me, now gets to see an adult version of this. So, good job, Warner Brothers and Batman and everybody involved in it, you know, doing what they did. This is a pretty good episode. Looks like it's going to be a great series. What do you think? I, like, like I said, I thought they did a really good job. also like the fact that there's an inclusion of Rupert Thorne. Um, I don't think he gets used. Uh, I think Bruce Tim is the only one that really uses Rupert Thorne. And I like the fact that they still are keeping with the Gotham criminal underworld. And something I forgot to mention is more, it's more grounded. I'm not going to spoil anything for the rest of the series, but it's a, even every villain has a more grounded take. And I'm like, like I said, I'm not sure how people are going to take the lore switching me personally, when it comes to the penguin gender swap kind for me personally, I'm a little irked by it, but cause because there's so much other female characters that could have been used besides just switching it. That's just how I feel. But this particular quaint, uh, penguin, like Sean said, they gave it this like Madame type of feel. And if you're familiar with that type of female from that era, from that era, it works. It really does work. So overall, like I said, this was a really good start. When you see the other. It, it, it only gets better. That's all I'm going to say. It only gets better. What they do, like I said, it's going to be a little controversial with certain character lore changes. But for the time period and for what they're going for, it absolutely does make sense. So stick with it, I will say. But episode one, give it two thumbs up. We're going to give it a rating of a watch it now. Don't put this in your queue. Don't skip it. Watch it now when it comes out August 1st at the time of this recording. Uh, Sean, any last words? No, I think we pretty much summed it up. Like, this is a must. This is a good watch right now. Um, let us know what you think after watching episode one. Um, is this something that, you know, just like with uh, My Adventure Superman, is this something you're going to get into uh, week after week? Uh, we don't know yet if um, Amazon is going to just drop all the episodes and let you make that decision. If they do drop all the episodes, We'll be back with a full recap of the entire season. And, you know, like you can let you can also let us know after watching this what you thought in the comments about were we on the money with this? Like, is this an adult version of Batman the Animated Series that you can get into? I know there are different generations. Some are watching Batman on their, you know, 
on the, uh, what do you call it, HBO Max, and they're watching the series there. Those of us who grew up watching it, uh, this is just the adult version for us. Maybe you'll sit down and be like, it'll help you reminisce, but overall, very good series. All right, and that is going to conclude our review of Batman Cape Crusader Episode 1. Comment below, let me know what you think of the series. Oh, Episode 1 after you finish watching it. If you like what we do here at Tacos the Geeks, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That helps out the channel and the algorithm very much. If you're watching this on tacosthegeeks.com, browse our website, check out our interviews, editorials. And if you're here on the channel, check out our playlist, check out our top 10s. Our recent top 10 is coming uh Coming soon, we got more uh, essential manga, essential anime. As you can see, everything's premiered. Whole bunch of stuff. The hour's coming back. UWL premieres August 9th officially. Stay tuned for that and catch you on the next one. Peace, love, and happiness as always. Later days. And remember, no one can save the day like Batman. Peace. Peace.